today uh, with Arjun Bosov. Uh, Arjun, thank you very much for, for having us here. You're welcome. Uh, it's a privilege to, uh, to be here. Uh, I know there's a. I don't think there's any art gallery that I've been in your studio before. I know this is this is quite sacred ground for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, it's a big privilege for us to to be here today. You were doing a a, a, a painting or a sketch here. Uh, so uh, while you're sketching, I'd just like to 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 chat with you about your father's uh, influence on on your work. I know uh, I, I've heard he said that uh, sketching is the basic of, of all, all the paintings. If an artist cannot sketch well, yeah, he's not a good artist. Why yeah, that, that, that's, that's the fundamentals of everything is your drawing. Um, uh, your planning, everything starts uh, with the drawing. I mean, uh, it usually starts with a little thumbnail, we call it thumbnail sketches. Uh, when you start planning your, your paintings and you will see when I, just before I get to the big ones, I start sketching it, uh, the actual size on yes. paper. Um, mm -hmm. It's where you try to cut out all your mistakes. You mm -hmm. look at the real lines that you're going to use in your painting. Yeah. Um, you're looking at composition, you're looking at... And the way you sketch is the way you're going to paint. Yeah. So if you're going to sketch tight, you're going to paint tight. It's mm -hmm. going to be... A detail. If you sketch rough, it's going to be a rough painting. It, it, it leaves you open to express your brush strokes. Yes. So the more you practice, the, the, the better you get. Um, I always say I can teach anybody to draw, I can't teach them to paint. If you look at the painting, I saw my wife when she walks into the painting, every time she comes, she says, oh, look at her bum, look at her bum. So that's yeah. where my focus point is. <laughs> and I put it right on a third. You can see that it's on a third line okay. there. Yeah. If, if, you, if, you, if you divide the painting, now we get another third line running through. And I'm trying to keep your eye busy in the painting. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want you to go out and have a look too much into the clouds. Okay. So all these lines are going in a circle. Okay. That's the way I planned it. Now with the colors, it's fading a little bit of away, but the, the lines are still there. I put this plant in so it's bending in. I got this to cut off here. I put this little plant in here to cut off your attention there. Okay. So you don't go out of the painting, you still keep in. You, you inside the painting, although the river runs out, yes. there's still th this guy at the back stops you so you don't go out. That little canyon in there is a little, I always believe in a little bit of mystique in your painting. So you okay. always create that little place where there's not too much detail, but the eye wonders, wonders what's, 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 what's going, going on there. there. Yeah. Now, if you look at this guy, he's looking backwards, this guy's looking back, so I'm keeping the uh, 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 focus. It's inside my painting, mm -hmm. it's not running out. And that's exercise and studying the old masters. Yes. You know, my dad used to go on Sundays. Uh, his Sunday trip was to the museum, the art museum, and he studied the old masters. And that's mm -hmm. really the thing to do. It's not trying to paint like them. It's yes. study what they did, and then you learn. Yes.